we have seen in fluid kinematics various mathematical model to study the flow of the fluid but now we are going to study fluid in more details by the name of types of fluid we have already studied steady flow unsteady flow uniform flow non uniform flow now we are going to study what is laminar flow and turbulent flow <music> laminar flow and turbulent flow now what do you mean by laminar and turbulent so let us consider a flow through a pipe let us consider this as a pipe in which we are going to use eulerian approach of studying fluid mechanics in eulerian approach we will divide this entire pipe into two sections so let us consider one section at section 11 and the second section at section 22 in this entire flow of the fluid in the pipe the adjacent layers of the liquid are parallel to each other this flow is called as laminar flow in laminar flow there is no intermixing of the adjacent layer of the liquid supposingly this is what is your first layer this is what is your second layer there is no mixing of the adjacent flow adjacent there is no mixing of the adjacent layers of the liquid this flow is called as laminar flow in turbulent flow there is actually the mixing of this entire fluid so in this entire section there will be mixing of the adjacent layers of the fluid it will be called as turbulence now how to differentiate between a laminar flow and a turbulent flow let us understand this for example if we switch on a tap at your house what you can see is at a very instant you can see the water flowing if you see that water which is flowing is has some color generally it will be of white color that means that flow is a flow in which adjacent layers of the liquid are mixing with each other that flow is called as turbulent flow while if you gradually close the tap you can see the color of the liquid changing to colorless that means it is going from laminar flow to laminar flow it is going from laminar flow to turbulent flow that means in turbulent flow there is mixing of the layers in laminar flow there are adjacent layers of the liquid which mix each other examples of laminar flow we can take very common example is flow of blood through the veins this flow is a laminar flow an example of turbulent flow are the flow through a river so if a river which is of flowing at a very high velocity that flow you can see as a turbulent flow now we'll study a mathematical relation to differentiate a laminar flow with turbulent flow now how to differentiate between a laminar and turbulent flow we'll use a number called as reynolds number this reynolds number is a dimensionless quantity so let us study what is reynolds number to tell the difference between laminar flow and turbulent flow we need some mathematical relation that relation is given by reynolds number this is represented by re reynolds number is actually ratio of two physical quantities that is inertial force to its viscous force
let us understand what is inertial force inertial force is the force applied by the body to remain in the state of motion or in the state of rest whereas viscous force is the force which is applied in opposite to the direction of the flow for example if the flow of the liquid is towards right the viscous flow will be towards viscous force rather will be towards left so reynolds number is ratio of inertial force to its viscous force in mathematical relation this is given as r e equals to it is given as rho v d upon mu now what is rho over here rho is actually the density of the fluid whereas v is the velocity of the fluid d is the hydraulic diameter of the or diameter of the fluid and mu is kinematic uh, and mu is viscosity of the fluid this can be also written as in terms of kinematic viscosity that is v d upon nu where nu is kinematic viscosity nu is given as mu by rho that is kinematic viscosity is ratio of your normal viscosity or the viscosity of the fluid to its density let us study how to determine difference between laminar flow and turbulent flow with respect to reynolds number for laminar flow the value of reynolds number is actually less than 2000 now since reynolds number is a dimensionless quantity it won't have any unit so this will be dimensionless for turbulent flow reynolds number for turbulent flow is greater than 4000 again it is a dimensionless quantity it won't have any units but what happens if the reynolds number is between 2000 to 4000 that flow is called as transient flow if the reynolds number lies between 2000 and 4000 then the flow is called as a transient flow now what exactly is a transient flow transient flow is the flow of the fluid in which it is either going from laminar to turbulent or it is going from turbulent to laminar so in between sometimes the adjacent layer of the liquid intermix each other sometimes they don't intermix with each other that flow is called as transient flow how you can differentiate a transient flow for example if you just switch on or how you can differentiate between a transient flow if you just take a tap and gradually increase its flow rate and you can see few drops of water falling down after which there will be a stream of colorless liquid that flow mind you is called as laminar flow gradually if you increase the flow of the fluid then what happens is the lower part of that entire fluid changes to a color full liquid that is white in color so that is actually changing from laminar flow to turbulent flow via a transient flow it can be also seen vice versa when the flow will go from turbulent flow to laminar flow it will always have a transient flow Now let us take one example in which we will take a vertical section of an entire sea and we'll see where you do you find in a sea that is laminar flow turbulent flow and a transient flow
So let us consider two surfaces of the sea. This is the upper surface and this is the bottom surface of the sea. We will take two sections. Example of laminar flow, turbulent flow and transient flow in a section of a sea. So let us consider an section of a sea in which this is the top surface of the sea. This is the bottom surface of the sea. In this we will take one section. That section will be section 1 1 and section 2 2. Now, in section 1 1 and between section 1 1 and 2 2, we will divide this into various types of flow. Now, since at near the top surface of the liquid, there is always formations of the waves. Hence, top layers of this entire sea are generally turbulent flow. Since from the top surface of the liquid, as you go below, you know that P is equals to H into rho into G. So, the pressure gradually rises as you go from the top to the bottom. Hence, this turbulent flow also changes from its turbulent nature to transient nature. So, the flow over here will be transient flow. The flow, the flow over here will be a transient flow. As we go below further, the pressure also increases. Due to this increase in pressure, the fluid flow converts from transient flow to laminar flow. And the last layer of the liquid, where the pressure is maximum, the fluid does not flow. Hence, it is called as hydrostatics. Hydrostatics. Now, what is hydrostatics actually? Hydrostatics is when the fluid is at rest. And laminar flow is also sometimes called as a streamlined flow. Streamlined flow is, are the flows in which adjacent layers of the liquids are parallel to each other. Generally, all the aquatic life live in this region that is a laminar flow region because their bodies are shaped such that they can effectively cut through the surfaces of the adjacent. Their bodies are shaped such that it can cut through the adjacent layers of the fluid which is only possible in laminar flow nor in transient or turbulent flow. Bigger aquatic animals such as sharks and whales, you can see it, they generally swim near the surface of the liquid because they are, they are very huge animals and they can go against the flow of the fluid. I hope you have understood what is difference between laminar flow, turbulent flow and transient flow with analogy of Reynolds number. I hope you have understood the difference between laminar flow, turbulent flow, transient flow and its analogy with dimensionless number that is Reynolds number. Thank you.